All right, so the first series. So this is about to evaluate an exponential function. So they've given you fx, let's say they've given you this question, 9 to the exponent x plus 2. Now they just need you to put in a value and solve. So you can use your calculator. You can solve mentally if you can. <clears throat> and just plug in the value. So anything to the exponent 0 is 1. So if I were to solve this, I would get 1 plus 2, which is 3. I plug that in and I get my answer. Okay, let's try a different question. So if I had fx is equal to 10 to exponent x plus 11, and same thing, they want me to solve f2. So let's plug it in, 10 to squared plus 11. Again, you can plug everything into the, into the calculator and uh, solve or use PEMDAS as needed. So we've got the exponent, then we have multiplication, then we have addition. So you would get 10 times 4 plus 11, which is 40 plus 11, which gives me 51. So let's plug in 51. So this is how the first exercise is. It's extremely simple. You should be able to just use a calculator, navigate, and get your points. So the second uh, exercise is just matching the graphs. Functions and graphs. So let's say if they give you a graph like y is equal to negative one-third exponent x plus six. So you can use Desmos or your calculator and see the shape. Once you see the shape, you just have to observe. So it's an observational skill. Once you observe, you'll be able to determine which graph or function applies to it. And that's how we solve the second uh, exercise. So for uh, exercises three and four, this is x three and four. X two, x one. We're just looking for the domain which is all the x values and the range which represents the y values. So for example, if you have a graph like this. Now you know that the domain is forever, right? It's going in both negative x and in positive x. This is going on forever. So this would be all real values. But if you were to find the range, see it doesn't touch y, it doesn't touch the x-axis. So it never reaches y is equal to zero. So the range would just be y is greater than zero. And that's how you would solve these. And remember one thing, I'll put it in black. This is important, remember one thing. In the IXL, if they show a dotted line like this, you'll see these dotted lines in both sides. This means that it is not equal to, it is not equal. Okay, so like in this case. So if there, were a, if there was a graph for an exponential function and on this axis, They've drawn these, like these dotted part, and then they drew the graph, and they're saying, hey, what's the range? Choose the one where it's not equal to, remember this, this will help you a lot, 
the dotted part. This means that it's not equal to it. Okay. Okay. So in X five. Now one thing that you should remember. Remember this thing. One plus rate percent to the exponent t. This will help you in this exercise. Okay. So remember that. That's one important thing that you want to use. So let's say if there's a private high school and it's charging twenty-four thousand dollars for tuition. But this figure is expected to rise 5%. So that's the increase rate per year. Now you want to find it when t is 9 years, right? The tuition. So let's plug it all in here. So we've got 24,000 times 1 plus our rate percentage to the power 9, right? So let's plug in all this information and we'll get our answer as needed so we get 37231.87 now if they ask you to round it off to the nearest cent so we'll put 37 2.87 and we'll get our answer. All right, so if we round it off. Another type of question, so we've got uh, this year Belmont recycled 170,000 tons of material, right? If this amount increases by 10% each year, how much will be recycled in 11 years? Use the same formula, so we've got 170,000 we've got 1 plus 10 percent to the exponent of 11. So you see how this formula is coming in so handy. Not only in here, it's also with the uh, uh, Regents Prep packet. So you want to hold on to things that are important or useful to solve questions. And you end up getting 485029.87. So if you're asked to round off to the nearest tenth or whatever, remember this is your tenth. This is the hundredth. And put the arrow here, hundredth. So good luck. These are the tools you need for this axis.